grand rising welcome back welcome in hello all hello all oh it is not that early in the morning but it is still early at seven where i'm at um i have a lot uh, not a lot of channel messages but i just uh took a moment before i got on camera and I'm going to try to speak louder because I have my fan going and I'm playing music in the background. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I am purchasing a mic soon, so that will be good. Alright, so some of the messages that I got was someone could be having ascension symptoms. Um, these are symptoms that really can't be explained. Maybe you've gone to the doctor, maybe you've got blood work done and you still can't figure out what the hell is happening to you um, or why it's happening. This could be related. Oh, do I have to do my disclaimer? <laughs> this is a spiritual channel and we're doing spiritual teams. So if you're not um, someone who's on your spiritual journey, then uh, you probably ain't gonna find no messages here. Um, we are in the ethereal energies. So this is uh, Oracle messages from beyond what your five senses can perceive. So that's just a disclaimer. Everybody else, welcome in. Welcome back, I'm glad to have you. Um, we have somebody who's just beginning their mission or needs to start their mission. Everybody's mission is different. Some, some It could be as simple as, you know, uh, giving somebody else some information or sparking somebody else's curiosity everybody's mission is different but there are pieces to the puzzle so that does not make one mission more important than another we have somebody who need to get a familiar um or you might have a familiar spirit protecting you at this time i am getting protection with that um a lot of spiritual people readers have cats if you guys have noticed that like almost every reader that i've watched they have a cat and cats are conduits. I, I don't even think cats are <laughs> animals, honestly. I don't. But that's just me. Somebody could have been could have seen the tumbleweed or that could be significant to somebody. Every time um people think about tumbleweeds, they think about a western movie or it's tumbling through the desert uh, it all it'd be by itself just tumbling alone that could be significant to someone i also have a card in this deck called the desert um solidariness and it has somebody a woman sitting in it in the desert with three birds she's on a swing by herself so that could be significant to someone um, I'm having here that somebody needs to use protection, um, spiritual protection here, burn sage or Palo Santo. Um, you can make your own protection oil uh, with, I think I have some, I don't know, those are all my crystals. I do have some, but I don't think I have it up here with me. I have some boxed up, but you can make your own protection oil. Um, you can imbue it with the full moon. You can imbue it with the sun. Um, you could uh, bless it yourself. But somebody needs some protection, some spiritual protection here. And then I have somebody might be being very paranoid right now. This could either be you or somebody around you and it has something to do with gang stalking. So you could be very paranoid about somebody gang stalking you or somebody that is gang stalking you if you already are certain that this is happening to you um they're paranoid that you know all right those are the messages so let's get into this reading i have no clue what's about to come out again this is for my people who are in tune with their spirituality who knows or just beginning to know what the hell is really going on in this world so let's begin I have no particular feelings. I mean, I am still getting the energy of love, happiness, but I'm also having the backdrop, <laughs> the backdrop of something wicked this way comes, something nefarious. It's like always there, but the overall energy is happiness. Like somebody's moving forward. Somebody has gained some type of freedom, overcome some type of challenge. God, that is getting on my nerves. That is not true. What the hell? 
I don't think I have OCD, but which I might be. I might be having it right now. Alright, spirit guys, benevolent ancestors. I said benevolent ancestors, archangels, please protect me as I channel these messages. As I dabble in this energy, show me what I need to see. The most important messages for the collective. Again, you could be here as a star seed. You can be here as a chosen one. You can be here as an indigo child, twin flame, whatever you identify as. Just as long as you know that there's more to life than what's going on and what what meets the eye. That was specific for somebody more than meets the eye. Where did that come from? That's from a movie or a show or something? It is a saying as well, but for me it was coming through as something someone was quoting from a show. Anyway, let's look at the ethereal energies at this time, see what's going on in the beyond, in the further. Somebody's tuning up their spiritual gifts here. That's the message that's coming through right now. Somebody's tuning up their spiritual gifts. So that's why somebody could be having ascension symptoms, like something's coming online for you or it's getting stronger. Hmm. And I wish somebody would say, ain't nobody got no spiritual gifts. You don't know what the hell people have. So shut up. Maybe your ass don't got no spiritual gifts, but um, meanwhile, back at the ranch. All right, we have two that came out. We have stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. Yeah, somebody's definitely in tune. They're on the right path. Somebody's coming online is what I'm getting here. This person's lit up. <laughs> they're meditating and they're they're receiving you see those little lines coming down right there they're receiving some type of spiritual awareness a spiritual guidance something in the starlight yeah yes and then we have horn cactus resourcefulness wasn't i just talking about the desert mm. that's on the weed all right that's what's in the energy Somebody is definitely needs it. And this, this horn cactus resourcefulness is really talking about somebody protecting themselves. Because inside of a cactus is the, I guess, the meat of the cactus that can rehydrate you. That is a, it's a precious gift, but it has these pokey things to protect itself. Uh-huh. As nature does. At the bottom of the deck, we have hollow bone teachability. More desert shit. I don't know why this gives me desert, but it really, it really definitely does. It gives me desert. So somebody definitely could be isolated at this time or having to do something by themselves. This is a, this is a solo part of your journey. This is when you're going within. What else there? Let's look at the soul, the soul mission. I'm gonna get me a little thing over here so this is gonna be so loud hitting this glass. I was re watching one of my videos, I was like, damn, that's loud. <laughs> but you can barely hear me. <laughs> so, uh, oops. All right. I do take you guys' ears into consideration. Even when I'm singing, I do. <laughs> I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know you can't sing. God. I don't even know why I get songs because y'all know I can't sing. I'm talking to my spirit team like, what are y'all doing? We have cracked open. God damn, I'm good. Cracked open. At the bottom it says rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Somebody is being awakened. They have no choice but to see... <laughs> what they don't want to see. They have no choice but to surrender that they know what they know. Oh, here we go again. But I understand that stage because I remember being in that place. Shit, sometimes I still go back to that place like, man, this can't be real. I'm not really seeing this. I'm not really aware to what this is. But at some point when you're logical, which I am a very logical person, 
I have my Venus sign in Aquarius, logical. I have my Sun sign in Capricorn, logical. I think I even have Capricorn in one of my, it's either Neptune or Uranus. <laughs> and both of those are like dreamy type, wandering, uh, I want to say artistic fucking um, planets, placements. So sometimes, but it's like, just like I said before, it, once you see something and once you become aware of something, you can't unsee it. You can't take back that awareness. What, you know, you know. So I'm not saying that everything that's happening to somebody is real or legit, but somebody's in disbelief about it. The world beyond the world, the world underneath the veil. Uh huh. At the bottom of the deck, we have We the Hathors, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth as a Portal. So I'm really feeling like somebody is realizing they're a star seed. Um, a star seed is somebody whose soul did not originate from the star system. Oh, I just popped somebody's cherry. Yes, there's other life out there. What the hell? <laughs> How could there not be? Unless we're in a holographic simulation, which uh, could also be true, but that does not mean that there's not other life out there. I'm hearing that Janet Jackson song, I Really Miss You Much. I really miss you much. I don't know what that's about. Um, okay. This is definitely having somebody who stepped away from everybody who I'm talking to here. What are the messages in the 3D spirit? In the 3D? A change in the wind. Yeah, there's an upheaval. There's something happening that's changing somebody's life, changing somebody's world, definitely changing the way that they see something. This could have happened all of a sudden. With this crack open, it's giving me like you cracking an egg. Like that shit just come out when you crack it. Oh, yes, I'm cussing. I want to say thank you to all my A1s from day one. I know that's so old. <laughs> everybody who's been rocking with me, everybody who's showing support, I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, it's cold world out here in this YouTube game. Like once you stop posting, once you disappear, once you go MIA, once you ain't on that algorithm no more, it's really hard to fight your way back. So I really appreciate the support you guys. And I don't have to tell y'all how to support y'all know the routine. It's free for you. I do appreciate the donations. Already people donated to me. I, I was uh, crying yesterday. <laughs> Because I was like overly emotional um, with the support coming back. So, y'all can read the comments. Y'all see what was up. But I do. I am grateful. I really am. And I'm more certain now than ever that this is my path. I've seen so many readers out there though. I'm like, God dang, when did the tarot community grow this big? But it has which I can't be mad about it. It's a lot of people out here that's tapping into their spirituality, which is why they call it the apocalypse because the veil is thinning. People are waking up. They rubbing their sleepy eyes. They getting out of bed. You can't have that though. For some reason. All right, let's get into these messages, you guys. Let's clarify. Let me clear what you have for this video. It'll be an hour again. Ooh, I've seen the three of wands. I don't take reversals unless it's absolutely no other choice. <clears throat> All right, talk to me about stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. We got the hermit, man. I cannot make this up, y'all. This is somebody going within, soul searching. This the hermit is the wise sage. Somebody who's on their spiritual path and the writer of Wade Tarot Dead. Ooh, the devil. Um, he has a lantern and he's walking on a path and the lantern's highlighting a snake. 
so he he knows what to look out for this person has walked this journey before somebody's soul has walked this path before and it's now guiding them show me horn cactus man somebody's watching over somebody well didn't i tell y'all about a familiar somebody is being guided and protected guided and protected that's this horn cactus while somebody's obtaining their spiritual knowledge, their their spiritual gifts are coming online. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Somebody could be reaching out to you um, in your dreams. I'm also getting here too that somebody could be looking up at the sky a lot and you're seeing weird shit. This is somebody sending you messages and signs that they're... Um, they're watching over you. Man. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Communication. Yeah, these are downloads. Oh my God, I just noticed those birds on there. So when I was driving the other day, um, I was going to one of my clients' house um, for my regular muggle job. And I was getting delayed after delay after delay after delay. And I looked up in the sky and you guys know how birds just like they swarm and they just go in a circle for some damn reason. Um, I seen a whole flock of white doves just circling. I'm like, no, nah, that's just the way the sun's hitting them. They're not all white. Like, why would there be a bundle of all white fucking doves flying right here? It was so surreal. And so I'm like, no, the sun's hitting them some type of way. And so I drove a little bit more and I looked and they were all white. I was like, this is fucking crazy. And it looked like this. This this is how they was flying in a circle. I was like, wow, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, well, message. <laughs> Let's talk about cracked open on the soul. Oh, I didn't even show y'all this volcano. Power. Power. Volcanoes. Yeah, something's coming up. For cracked open, we got four of swords. The four of swords is talking about taking a rest. This could even be meditation. This could be definitely something that's happening in your dreams. The swords represent mental thoughts. I'm hearing telepathy. They want me to say telepathy so bad. Somebody is definitely getting some communication. Somebody took their helmet off. What the fuck? <laughs> and so now they can receive this information. It's coming down. That information is coming down. So the helmet coming off is some type of physical resistance I'm getting. But so now somebody's being contacted in their dream state. In the astral realm. The ether, that energy is still penetrating. Show me change when we got the ace of cups coming out. Okay, so the, I, oh my god, why? So yeah, that movie Mortal Instruments, they were talking about the ace of cups in that movie. The the. They didn't call it that. Well, it was in a tarot card that her mom painted, but it was um, the cup, the immortal cup. The immortal cup. Took a sip of your love and I ain't been right ever since. As I think to myself, that's future. Could you be heaven sent? Uh-huh. We got the uh, magician at the bottom in reverse. I don't like that. And then it's trying to split right here with the Seven of Wands. So somebody could be getting protection from some type of spell work here. And there's another one trying to show here too. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh, huh. Show me Hollow Bone Teachability. I'm getting somebody's in training. If you've been fighting in your dreams a lot, that could be significant. Oh my God. Let me tell you. Uh, there's like somebody could be being tested right now too 
that's what I'm getting. And I'm hearing trial and error, trial by fire. So somebody's getting put through it right now because as you pass these hurdles and succeed and learn, something keeps coming to you. These downloads keep coming. You're, you're opening yourself up more and more to receive messages, information, guidance. We have the lovers coming out for hollow bone teachability. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe there's a lover coming to teach you something. I'm going to get back to that. Let me see what this uh, We the Hathors are. Birth as a portal. Mother's milk. Deep love. We got the page of cups. Somebody could just be coming into motherhood, fatherhood. For some of you guys, you birthed a star seed. <laughs> you're the parents of a star seed, and maybe you're not understanding why your child is different. Maybe your child is the one having the ascension symptoms, and you don't know what's wrong with them. The high priestess at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> yes. Okay, what else there? I like this reading. I feel Ooh, we got the ten of cups slipping. This is definitely something about family. Or okay, and if you don't have a child that's or haven't become a parent. Somebody knew your mother, your family, somebody knew you had gifts since you were a child. You could have been telling somebody about your dreams. And maybe something you dreamed would come true or you just knew stuff through your dreams. We got the sun at the bottom of the deck. I mean, talk about confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. The emperor, the sun. <sighs> okay, I'm getting somebody's meant to be a leader. <laughs> somebody's going to lead somebody else to awaken, maybe even your partner. I don't know, because this lover is uh, staring me in my face. Where are we at on time? God, why do these damn readings be so long? I can't stop yapping. Okay. Let me try to not make this an hour. We got the Hermit and the Page of Swords. I'm only going to get one card for both of those. So we definitely know that somebody's intuition, inner wisdom is guiding them. But you're, you also have your spirit team and spirit guides guiding you and watching over you. What else? Yeah, Six of Cups. They've been with you since you were a child. And they... they Somebody knew. Yeah, they've been guiding this journey for a long time. Somebody's stepping into their light body. Somebody is activating their light body. That's what I'm getting. Show me the lovers. I seen the seven of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Also, somebody is being guided towards a soulmate, a specific union here. Woo! Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? The fool. So, somebody could be being tested in love. We got judgment. Judgment is talking about tests. being called back up again, coming back again, coming around again. When I see the judgment card, I often see it as you're being tested. Huh. And there's that magician in another deck in reverse again. I don't like that shit.
What are you willing to do? I want to know more about this. The lover, somebody's coming back around and they want to see if you're going to be a fool for this again, if you're going to take the leap of faith with the right person or be a fool for the wrong person. Like, we'll come back to that too. I'm not going to... Because this could be definitely a love reading or this could be the next step in your ascension process for somebody. Somebody's definitely been on a journey by themselves. I definitely see that with all this isolation energy over here. The hermit, the cactus, the hollow bone. Now somebody's cracked open. Show me what these dreams are for a source. This separation possibly. Yeah, receiving messages in your dreams. I cannot make this shit up. The Knight of Swords. <laughs> the Knight of Swords with the Four of Swords. <clears throat> the Knights are messengers. I, I, well, I want to say the pages are messengers. The Knights are deliverers. So definitely somebody's um, doing something in their sleep. I also feel like knights are the ones that come to you, that take action towards you, and pages are the ones that you send out with messages. Or what's it vice versa? I don't freaking know. I just know there's some type of communication happening in somebody's fucking dream phase. Show me the page of cups. The Hierophant. God himself. <laughs> God itself, whatever, you know. That program is still there. Two of Cups in reverse. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. At the bottom of the deck. Who? what is this? Page of Cups and the Hierophant. There's something about a spiritual child here. I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody's supposed to have a spiritual child or start training their spiritual child. I don't. Or you were a spiritual child. I have so much here pointing to guidance and learning and teaching and childhood rearing and tests. I'm not exactly sure what they want you to know. Show me the Ace of Cups. What's the main important message? Oh, it's time to begin the mission. Never mind. That's the main important message. <laughs> Show me the Ace of Cups. It's time. We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be holding back. I'm also getting, when it comes to love, somebody's holding back, but that's about to change. Or because somebody held on to someone, oh God, ouch. They're offering their love now, something's activated. Um, show me this volcano, ten of cups. This is a lot of love here somebody wants to give. And it's not like your typical four of pentacles. This person is arms wide open. So that's weird. It's also got those bigger arms here saying that somebody is supporting somebody with letting go or opening up. No, they're receiving. That's how the ancient Egyptians received. Again, with this information coming down. They put their hands up in the air like that to receive. Show me the ten of cups. A lot of times, um, that's how prayer works. Um, you put the, you put it out there what you want to know, and you put your hands up, palms up to receive what you need to know. There are chakras in our hands as well, just in case if anybody didn't know that. And there's a freaking emperor again. Emperor, emperor. We have <clears throat> the angel of temperance guiding us. Ten of Cups. 
I'm trying so hard not to make this a love reading and these cards is like these this a love reading <laughs> you the love guru you the love doctor just accept it but <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Ooh, this is somebody who's heartbroken. They feel like they missed the opportunity in love. Or you could be heartbroken feeling like you missed an opportunity in love. Maybe you've been too focused on other things. Maybe you have started your mission and you found that to be most important. Maybe you've been focusing on um, enhancing. I'm hearing taming. Um, focusing your abilities. <clears throat> Focus on your mission, your path, your life purpose. Let's really get into this because um, there's too many happy cards here for me to be mad. But I don't, <laughs> something's like about to erupt. Somebody power, somebody's powerful emotions is about to erupt and change the game for somebody here. And we, this could definitely be a masculine energy that's about to let their feelings out. Because we have the emperor. Somebody can't control something anymore and can no longer hold back. Oh my God, I'm hearing that song. Let's get it on. <laughs> I can't sing it. I'm going to fucking lose it. I can't. All right, show me the six of cups. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is somebody who definitely walked away from a connection, commitment. This is somebody who put this on the back burner, possibly. Like I just got through saying, somebody who was not really interested in connection. Because that's what I'm feeling like here. Y'all know I like love. I love love. I do. I'm a big old sucker for love. I love romantic movies. I cry all the time. Well, I cry on every movie, but whatever. That's nor here or there. Um, but in this reading, I've been so reluctant. I keep talking about that I'm reluctant to turn this into a love reading. So somebody could have been very resistant to the idea of a connection of a soulmate. Oh, Lord. Here we go. But there's somebody being guided to this exact thing that they, they didn't think they wanted. Hmm. Page of Swords in Reverse. When are you going to learn? Are you teachable? Hollow Bone. Are you teachable? And look what's under that, y'all. Union. Sky Bridge. I don't take these cards in reverse at all. Cards that have words on them, usually I don't take them in reverse at all. Sky Bridge. Possibility for Union. Come on now. And then we have the Crossing Initiation. Hmm. And under that was Drifter, taking life as it comes. But somebody can no longer do that. What is this protection about, though? Show me the lovers with the fool. Oh, my God. There go the hermit. What else? The hermit under the hermit with the eight of pentacles. Somebody's having to keep redoing something in love until you get it. And so you see what it is that you need to see. Woo, there's competition fighting here. Maybe somebody's not willing to risk enough when it comes to love. I'm getting somebody could be kind of nonchalant about love. Uh, yeah, somebody's definitely fighting it, blocked off from it. They love their freedom. Look at this shit, all these wands. Ooh, I'm also thinking maybe commitment scares this person. Whoever the hell I'm talking to. But there go that tower. Somebody been cracked open. And they trying to resist it. Ooh, they don't know what's going on. They feel it coming. This volcano, they can't hold it in anymore. It's erupting. This look like the eruption too. Both of these look like something's erupting. Mm. Maybe that's just my eyes. Let's see that. Show me the, what is this dream state? Communication. Somebody could definitely be sending telepathic messages to their person. This is a counterpart, I'm telling you. We got the two of cups and the lovers here. 
with the hierophant, come on. With the temperance. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> temperance came out again. Oh yeah, somebody is showing somebody messages. This is, um, I think this is Archangel Gabriel. I really do. Or maybe it's Archangel Michael. I don't fucking know who it is. Michael always has a sword though, so I don't know what angel this is. Don't get me to fucking lying. All I know is that this is an angel that's um changing something here to create balance and they're doing that in the dream state through some type of communication. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Oh my god. It's time to begin the mission. Okay, so part of the mission, this came out in a reading I did yesterday. Part of the mission is somebody's on a double mission. So one leg of the journey was you coming into self, you fortifying your skills, fortifying your spiritual protection, um, getting familiarized with the world beyond the world, um, accepting your reality once you've become aware of what's really going on. And now it's time. You're being guided <laughs> to your destined path here. Somebody is showing someone their destiny in their fucking dreams. <clears throat> and I'm getting that it's painful and difficult for this person to accept because for some reason this has to do with love. And this person thought that they were just here for something. <laughs> Okay, I'm hearing that Whitney Houston song and I cannot get it. But this came to me the other day too. I didn't do a reading about it, but this song has been coming to me lately. I heard this song when I was a kid. I was real young. Um, and it was at uh, some type of program at school or after school or some shit like that. And they made us sing this song. Or they, made, they put this song on. It was Whitney Houston. I think she was with Michael Jackson too. I don't fucking know. No, that's a different song. <clears throat> Something about the greatest love of all. It is the greatest love of all. I decided long ago. Yeah, y'all, y'all, look it up. I don't know. The greatest love. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so somebody could have lost their dignity dealing with relationships. Oh, somebody was humiliated. I feel like somebody keeps trying to find the fault in you and they can't. This is your person. They, they want it to be wrong. They want it to not be right. They want you to not be the one. They're resisting it. We got the three of wands and the five of cups because they're holding on to the past. They're waiting for you to do something that somebody from their past has done. They're waiting for a sign that you're just like everybody else. They're definitely not. They got their cups behind them. They got them cups behind them and they're not giving them up. They're, they're, whew. Spirit is telling somebody to be childlike when it comes to love. Or some, some love that's coming in. Show me the Ace of Cups. Because somebody, this is the last test, I feel like, for somebody to be fully vulnerable. For somebody to fully open themselves up. Because it's only in that moment do you understand that you fully trust yourself. And when you fully love and trust yourself, you're not about to let nobody else hurt you. Then, then your ego steps into a different mode. <clears throat> because now it's in alignment with your conscious and subconsciousness. And the collective consciousness, you, you can see through people now. You know what's coming. Can't nobody lie to you. Can't nobody trick you. But you're scared that because they've done it before, played on your emotions, your feelings for them, those were tests. Huh. And this Eight of Pentacles is telling me that over and over again. Over and over again, I keep playing it over 
it over again. <laughs> and I can't keep picturing you with him. Hey, that's Nelly and um. And it hurts so bad, cause it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. <laughs> what? Who else was he with? A country singer. Goddamn. Was it Garth Brooks? I don't fucking know, y'all. Don't get me up. That was so long ago. Y'all, if y'all around my age, y'all know that song though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's not do that. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups coming out here. Oh. Somebody have options, but that's about to change. Somebody likes to keep options. Ooh. Nah, this is somebody who's under an illusion. This is this is definitely somebody who's under an illusion or was, which is why they they held back from love. Somebody think that they under a spell. What the fuck? And they want to rush towards this, but they're slowing themselves down. Somebody don't believe in soulmates. Yeah, and here's the devil sending that communication. <clears throat> Tell me more about this. Oh my God. Yeah, somebody, that, remember I was talking about the Ace of Cups, the Immortal Cup, taking a sip from the cup. I took a sip from your cup and I ain't been right ever since. <laughs> Future. Uh, as I think to myself, <laughs> could you be heaven sent? Some shit like that. So let's put the past behind us. <laughs> And go far away where nobody can find us. Somebody don't want to never end. They feel like they're under a spell, though. They don't believe this shit. They can't believe. Somebody somebody could have been a bachelor, a player, a playette, <laughs> bachelorette. They took a sip of your cup and ain't been right ever since. Woo! <laughs> okay, I got to say this, though. Somebody, they, I seen this Joe who one of my friends on Facebook told this Joe talking about. I miss my girl so much. I'm walking around in her eyelashes. <laughs> I almost died. I was like, bro, y'all gotta stop with this. Y'all gotta stop with this. Where do y'all get this shit from? Come on now, you miss her so much. You walking around in her eyelashes. Come on. <laughs> Oh my god, we got the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups, y'all. Hey, the Cups again. Whoo, somebody could want to apologize here. Somebody could want to extend an offer of love. This I can't not talk about love when all these cups came out. <clears throat> this is insane. We got the Ten of Cups, Temperance, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups with the Page of Cups at the bottom. This is um, being balanced out. Somebody's realizing what happy looks like, what love looks like. I'm also getting here too, somebody, somebody wants to know if you're gonna be open and receptive to this, but I think they already know. There is a, no, they want to, they don't know, two of cups, I mean two of swords. Yeah, and that's that fear I was getting right there. Yeah, there's a little bit of fear here. Somebody's scared to bring this. Let's let's close this read now. Somebody's trying to get a love offer. And this person that's coming in is a part of your divine path. So stop fucking resisting it. And open yourself up to it. This message is particularly for somebody who, who is having messages in their dreams. Or who knows that they receive messages through their dreams. Alright. I'm also getting like you could have been seeing this person's picture, face, or essence. Or you could have been aware of this person since you were a child. You just never knew who it was. Uh -huh. Huh? rejection i told you somebody is not having this shit they rejecting this oh my god but they're being led to this 
<clears throat> we got self sabotage here. Somebody's because that's that cracked open. Let me change in the wind. I feel like this is kind of loud. Shushy. It's been loud the whole reading. I'm just now hearing that it's loud. <laughs> Y'all, everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. Understand that. So somebody's just now realizing <laughs> this loud ass nagging feeling that they had about somebody or a person. Or they just realizing these strong ass feelings that they had. Wow, okay. Fucking psycho. A family and tribe coming out. I can't make this shit up. Right above the Ten of Cups. Which for me is family. <clears throat> Some people use the Ten of Pentacles as family. Uh huh. It could be too. The Ten of Pentacles for me though is mostly like maybe ancestors. The, the family lineage. Yeah, we got healing here. Yeah, somebody had to go through these um, processes of learning. They had to be shown multiple times what love wasn't. So that when love actually finally came, they would know what it was. Because it would be different than everything that they've experienced so far. Uh -huh. <clears throat> With the hermit being here twice, I feel like somebody... I've been traveling on this road so long. Trying to find my way back home. Oh my God, make some consciousness with self-sabotage. Y'all know I can't sing. I'm sorry, I apologize. That's what was coming through. It was coming through. Self-sabotage, victim consciousness. Yeah, that's this five of cups, ain't it? Somebody holding on to the past, crying over spilled milk and shit. Like, uh, get, get it together. Show me the ten of cups. Volcano, sexual arts. Yeah, somebody can't hold this. They've been holding back this feeling for so long. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all I heard that song earlier? Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Or was that it? I can't. I can't even remember now, y'all. Oh lord, this is bad. I'm getting see now. <laughs> home. Somebody just feels like home. Didn't I just was seeing her trying to find my way back home? <laughs> Oh Lord. Oh yeah, holding they soul. I feel like I'm talking so fast. But then when I go back and watch the video, I don't be talking that fast. Or in some parts I be talking really fast and then some parts I be going slow. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I'm just talking. Show me rejection. Yeah, I definitely feel like somebody's trying to find a fault in you. A leg up. <clears throat> okay, so somebody's also rejecting the help from the divine. Because they don't want to see what this is. They don't feel like it's time. They weren't ready. We got unfinished symphony. Yeah, you can't finish your journey until this happens. This person is meant to heal somebody here. So whatever somebody's been through over and over again, this person is here to bring balance and healing. Temperance is talking about healing. We got a card here that says healing. Show me self-sabotage cracked open. And it's like somebody having to be cracked open because they're refusing to see. They're self-sabotaging. That it's time to begin your mission. And not for you. Yeah, this is self-sabotage. Somebody like, no, nah, that can't be my person. That's not them. Nope. 717. I keep seeing that on the clock. Every fucking day. That is a twin flame number. And I think it is because of the one in the middle. And the seven and seven um, balancing each other out on both sides. I don't know. Look. Justice is number seven, I think. I think. I don't know. So, no, justice is 11. 
7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me get. I'm a, I'm look. Oh God, it's never gonna be under a, this long of a fucking reading. Show me this victim consciousness. It's time for a nap. There's a lot of stuff coming out about time. Time to begin. Time for a nap. The Wheel of Fortune card. Maybe it's time to stop self-sabotaging. And then there we go again about something. That somebody sleeping on somebody. But shit, spirit is finna show you in your dreams. If they gotta come and contact you in your dreams, you finna see this shit. Okay? This is somebody you're meant to co-create with. Co-create your reality. Co-create a child. Co-create a business. I don't know. This person is a part of your soul tribe, for sure. Clean it up. <laughs> Spirit said you better get this shit together or we finna cause a moral wind of upheaval in your motherfucking life. <laughs> so you see what we try to show you. Show me sexual arts. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that as an honorary. And want it to come out but didn't. And round and round. Oh. Treasure Island. Pleasure Island I'm getting. What the fuck? And boys. Somebody's been waiting still. Somebody's been in a state of comfortableness with Treasure Island employees. They don't want to move. <clears throat> somebody, again, with this sexual art, somebody could be content in how they love making, whatever. They probably with multiple people. I don't fucking know. Or they're just not committed and they like it like that. Spirit saying that shit finna get cleaned up. They can no longer hold back. Cause this is too strong. Let's get it on. Did I mention that song before? I think I did. But let me go ahead and do these uh, romance angel cards. And that's gonna be the end of this reading. I'll probably do another one cause I like this reading. It was fun. I had fun. I hope y'all did too. <laughs> My goofy ass over here laughing. All right, let's, let's see what the romance angels have to say. <clears throat> healing family issues, again with the healing. Again with the motherfucking healing. Somebody got a bitter beer face. <laughs> Ooh, we got codependency. Ooh. Ooh. And we got let go of control issues. Yes. This is somebody who won't let go. Honeymoon at the bottom of the deck. Then this could also be somebody who's in another relationship too. And spirit is like, you need to get out of that shit. Clean it up. There's an upheaval about to take place. This is what's happening in the physical. There's an upheaval about to take place in somebody's life if they don't get on the right path. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you.